Kagame Next is New Jersey's biggest anime convention, and this year is its grand reopening after three years of cancellations. It may not have the novelty of Off-Kai, but it's way closer and inside my time zone, so I'll take what I can get. Anyway, I was actually planning on going to Off-Kai this year, but right before I booked the hotel, I realized that it overlaps with Anime Next, and unfortunately, I had already purchased tickets to Anime Next, so the decision was obvious. Last year, Off-Kai overlapped with Castle Point Anime Convention, and perhaps next year it'll overlap with my friend's wedding. I was fearing the size of the line to get in, but surprisingly when I got there, there was no line. Until they took everyone out of the Expo Center to form a line outside. Can't escape line con, yeah? Unfortunately, a cosplayer in front of me collapsed, likely from heat exhaustion. And then, if to add insult to injury, it started to downpour, so the poor fools down the line faced the wrath of the Rain Man. Once inside, we had to wait again to get the artist's blessing in order to enter the artist alley, but once the red shirts flagged us in, it was time to experience all that there was to see. Sadly, once again, filming was prohibited in artist alley, so I simply stood behind the signs to take video. Outside of the no camera zone, there were the arcade cabinets, which had some classics, and a couple of modern games. There was also a car show, which had the Ganyasi car, and a few other automobiles from, I'm assuming, Japan. There were a variety of food options, from ethnic to substandard, but since I'm apparently part of the 90% of anime enjoyers with IVS, my usual strategy is to not eat anything until I get back home. I'm not neglecting my health, this is actually called intermittent fasting, okay? That was a tangent. Anywho, Blue and Count flew their way in from Japan and did a panel and music performance. They're most known for their work on anime openings. It was fun. I'm glad they were able to make it. And then we have, um, well, that, that's it. That was the Expo Center. Seems lacking? Well, that's because that was only half of everything Anime Next had to offer. That's right, the con was split between two buildings, the New Jersey Expo Center and the Hyatt Hotel. I didn't realize that the Hyatt and the Expo Center were so far away from each other until just a few days prior. The Hyatt charged for parking, so taking the free shuttle service was a no-brainer. The shuttle went between the two locations, but if you missed one, you'd have to wait a whole hour for the next one to arrive. That's me, missing the bus. So an hour later, here's the struggle bus, and after a 30 minute cruise in the rain, here I am at the Hyatt. Which, by the way, felt very... liminal. Where the hell did they take us? Animeopolis? Even had the soundtrack, too! The Hyatt felt rather unpopulated, and I reckon that's because of the aforementioned dual location setup. Would have been nice to have had everything be under one roof, but I'm aware this isn't a West Coast Best Coast con like Offkai, so I'll let it slide. Which is what I would have said if events I wanted to go to didn't overlap so much. The Azuki Manga Industry Panel took place at the same time as the Blue and Count concert. The Harems Equal Harm Panel took place at the same time as Cosplay Burlesque. The Cosplay Dating Game took place at the same time as the Would You Rather Anime Edition game, which overlapped with the main event, the Anime Next Dance Party. Had the convention been under one roof, it would have been easy to see at least parts of all of them, but due to the panels being at the Hyatt and the main events being at the Expo Center, every decision to switch venues had a price tag of up to an hour. Anyway, if you're on the East Coast and are not part of the Cool Kids table, then Anime Next is certainly an alternative convention, and it's definitely the highest profile New Jersey anime Con. I saw the planners of Kagoracon and Castle Point Anime out and about, probably doing some recon. Actually, I've been too hard on Anime Next. It's clear that a lot of work was put into pulling this con off, and I can respect that. Sure, there's always room for improvement, but the scales never tipped negative. And you know what? If given the choice between attending Offkai or Anime Next, I would choose Anime Next every single time. For one simple reason. I can breathe freely, you mask-obsessed VTuber stands! If you're going to anime in New York City 2023 and want to meet up beforehand so that we can stand in line together, let me know!